Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by y equals 0. Okay, so the x-axis. y equals negative x squared plus 2x. About the axis, probably means x-axis. Oh, oh. As shown. Okay, so the first part thing we'll want to do here is probably want to find these... Um, intercept points. So we'll do negative x squared plus 2x equals 0. Right. So this is y equals this. We'll find out where y equals 0. It makes sense. So we'll factor out an x or we can factor out a negative x. Does that work? Maybe. Equals 0. Therefore, x equals 0 or x equals 2. Yep, I'm good with that. So this is 2, this is 0, and we are integrating along from... So we're trying to do a volume. Looks like we're going to use the disk method. And so we will do integral from 0 to 2 of pi r squared delta x. So this is going to be the thickness of this disk will be delta x. And yes, so now the question is, our challenge is to find out what this R value is. So R will equal this equation right here, which will be negative x squared plus 2x. So then we're going to have to find out what R squared is. And R squared will be negative x squared plus 2x times negative x squared plus 2x, which equals, all right, so negative x squared times negative x squared is x to the fourth. Negative x squared times 2x will be negative 2x cubed. And I'll put another 2 in here because we know it's going to happen twice. Plus, so then because we have negative x squared times this 2x, and we have 2x times that negative x squared, then we'll have 2x times 2x will be 4x squared. So we have x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared. Okay. We, when we plug that in for r squared, we're going to get something like 0 to 2. Move out the pi. x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus for x squared, change the delta x to a dx, zoom in, move down. We have pi, change colors. Probably shouldn't co change colors midstream. I don't know. Are they are colors similar to horses? Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. 4x cubed over 3, and this will be evaluated from 0 to 2. And then put little parentheses so we know everything is multiplied by pi. And so then we have... Bum, bum, bum. Hmm, I need to know how my powers are 2. Okay, so I'll do pi and then x squared. So, two, so this will be, I'll do this as 2 squared times 2 cubed over 5 minus, 4 cancel, 2 squared times 2 squared. I only actually know what 2 squared and 2 cubed are. That way I can break it up and it's more intuitive for me. Plus 4 thirds 2 cubed. Okay? And so what we have here, and then we will subtract off here, parentheses, pi. There's an x in every one of these, so when we plug in 0, it'll become 0. So now we have pi, this will be 4 times 8, which will be 32, over 5, minus 4, plus, this will be 4 times 8, which is 32, over 3. And so it looks like our common name, denominator is going to be 15. So we'll do pi, and let's see here, 32 times 3 is 96. Probably 96. 96 over 15 minus 
4 times 15 is what, 60? 0, 2, yep, minus 60 over 15, plus 32 times 5 is, and maybe over here, 32 times 5, 0, 5 times 3 is 15, 110. Does that seem right? Maybe. Yeah, I'm good with this. All right, one more time. 10. No. Okay. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 160. 160. Okay. So, okay, some of these will be easy. So we have pi. These two together will be 96 over 15 plus 100 over 15, which equals pi. 196 over 15 and we'll see what sort of uh, possibilities we have over here for answers Oof. hmm it looks like our number is much too big ah okay so here, I went from 4 times 4 equals 4. No, 4 times 4 is 16, which is 4 times this. So wait a sec. So 16 times 15. So 16 times 15. Jeez, that's big. So it's... Mm, how do I do that? Okay, okay. Don't panic. So if we do, and I'll just do it out normal way. So 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 1 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. And then add 160, and this gives us 240, which is 4 times bigger than 160, which makes sense. So this is 240, and so we're left with... Um, so then we'll do this as pi times, that's 256, 256 minus 240 all over 15, which then gives us pi 16 over 15. Okay, that looks more reasonable. Let's see how this compares. Whoop, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Darn you, algebra. Darn you, algebra. All right, so 16 pi over 15 is the answer. Find the volume. So what we did here was we did the disk method. We were given um, basically a bounded region. Um, we were nice enough to get a picture. You usually probably won't get pictures on AP exam like this, maybe during for a um, um, free response or if you have a multiple a multiple choice if it has multiple parts, you might. This is a little bit friendlier than you probably would get on the AP exam, but it's it, the concept is very core to what you're going to want to do. So we're given a region. We know the equation for a um, using the disk method. So it's pi r squared, which is the area of a circle. And we multiply that by some width, delta x, and then we're going to integrate that from 0 to 2. And then we find out what r squared. We know that r, this radius right here, which is the same as to the side like it was, is going to be negative x squared plus 2x. And so that's going to be our r. Then we square it, we plug it in, and we're left with the power rule. We do the power rule here to, to integrate, plug in 2 and plug in 0. You're not supposed to make a mistake when you're plugging in 2. But if you do, you should go back and correct it. You uh, figure out what you do for... Uh, figure out what the answer is once you plugged in your 2. And then we get 16 fifteenths times pi. And that's the answer. So thank you much. Appreciate you stopping by. Go team. See you on the next problem.